optical performance is evolving to a whole new dimension. The Nikon Z mount. In pursuit of higher quality images, Nikon has realized a large inner diameter of 55 millimeters and a short flange focal distance of 16 millimeters. Thanks to the Z mount, sufficient light that ensures much higher image quality can be received, enabling the creation of new image expression. Only the Z mount can achieve such an extremely bright lens with f0.95 aperture. This lens delivers groundbreaking optical performance by providing beautiful bokeh and a sense of depth that have never been experienced before. With the Z mount, higher flexibility in lens design is made possible. For example, a large diameter lens can be located near the image sensor. A lens with a large diameter is able to convey light rays to the image sensor with minimal forced refraction, which is difficult using a smaller diameter lens. The lower refraction contributes to less lens aberration, allowing users to attain much higher image quality. Because most Nikkor Z lenses feature symmetrical construction with a centrally positioned diaphragm, which is said ideal lens construction, instant light can be conveyed to the image sensor naturally with moderate refraction. Because the large diameter mount allows flexible layout within the lens barrel, various mechanisms can be incorporated to remarkably enhance lens performance. Evolved image expression is realized with improved lens performance. With the intensified sense of high resolution achieved using a larger diameter mount, even details at the periphery can be precisely reproduced. Via the adoption of a multi-focusing system, high resolution images with minimal aberrations can be attained even at the minimum focus distance. In addition, by suppressing sagittal coma flare that is usually difficult to control, point light sources can be faithfully reproduced as point images from maximum aperture. The large diameter Z mount developed in pursuit of higher image quality opens the door to new image expression while realizing next-generation lens performance. Cool. Ready to go? Super. <laughs> yeah. Yes! That's good. Ricky, well done, mate. <laughs> My relationship with Nikon started about six months ago before the last press tour I did where they gave me uh, a Nikon Z6 and they said, just take it on the press tour, let us know what you think. And I think as a photographer and videographer, when you have a camera you like, you become so attached to it, you close yourself off from the idea of using a different camera or a different camera brand. And I had zero intention of using this Nikon camera. I was very comfortable with the camera I had, I was very used to it and on the second week of the press tour, my camera broke in the morning on one of the most important days and I was so stressed because I was like, I've got so much footage to capture and I've only got this Nikon camera I've never used before. So I take out the Z6 and I figured it out straight away and I don't think that has anything to do with me being good at, with cameras. I think it's absolutely a testament to the Nikon and everything that was wrong with my old camera was right with the, the Nikon Z6. And, Ever since then, I've not put it down. Um, I think I started making videos when I was about 12, and I inherited a, an Apple laptop from my older brother, and I used to use the camera and film myself doing things and cut these videos together, and they were terrible. But it was then I think I realized I wanted a career in kind of making films, and the end goal is to direct. So yeah, I think that's kind of how it all started for me, was making rubbish videos on my laptop.
But the first video I ever made, like properly made, was a video of, it was called My Journey to School. And I think I've still got it. Um, and it was awful, but I remember at the time I was like, this is sick. I was like, this is so good. And I entered into a competition, a school competition. And I was like, I've definitely won this. And I lost. <laughs> Um, I was never very good at school at drawing or painting, but I used to love the idea of someone having an idea in their head and putting it on the page so everyone can see basically into their mind. And I think that's what making videos is for me, is having an idea of something and being able to actually show people. And, you know, the, having a camera that you feel comfortable with is so important because it's almost an extension of you and, and that you're using it to tell stories that other people are going to see so it needs to be something you like and then when I got a bit older and I was 16, 17 I started doing photography and I would take my mum's camera out and it quickly became a very important part of my life as an outlet to deal with stress and anxiety and it was great and I think when I would go out with my camera and headphones and, and listen to music, I think looking at the world through a lens helped me escape my mind for a little bit and just observing people and, you know, street photography, lifestyle photography and looking at th things through a camera lens makes you see the world differently and I think in some ways you can escape the world a bit because you feel like you're behind a, a glass wall, which you kind of are. Um, but yeah, I think if, if, if you're a young person watching this and you're, you're dealing with that sort of thing, photography and, and taking a camera out is a very good way of dealing with it, I found when I was younger. and Something people should, I think, consider. When did I become a videographer? I was, uh, I became a videographer, the first job I did, I was at school studying media and my older brother was going to do a press tour for a film he did and he asked me, he was like, do you want to come along and shoot it for me and you can make kind of promotional content and I did that and it kind of took off from there. We just, we just, it was just kind of us having fun. It was me, my brother and his best friend and it was just the three of us having a laugh on this, this crazy experience we were on and I just had a camera in my hand and I, I documented the whole thing, which is cool because it's nice to look back at those experiences and, and look at these one minute kind of insights into what we were doing and it's just it's fun to kind of look back at those things. It's really interesting because on the press tour you know I meet lots of other videographers and you get chatting about what camera you're shooting with and uh, all of them are quite amazed when I showed them the Z6 and the features that make it so good for what I do and I think because it's a relatively new camera to the market we're going to slowly start to see a real rise in, um, in people using them which is um, exciting. There was a moment the first time I went into the Nikon offices. Um, I'm a massive Game of Thrones fan, and my first ever job on a film set was working for a stills photographer called Murray Close, who is one of the best in the industry. And the stills photographer on Game of Thrones is a lady called Helen Sloan, and I absolutely love her work. She's, she's incredible. And uh, they had a lot of her pictures on the wall, and I remember asking, is she an ambassador of Nikon? And they said yes, and I was like, wow, if she's an ambassador of Nikon, then I want to be an ambassador of Nikon. If they'll have me, probably not. <laughs> but also just walking through the halls of the offices and you see all of these pictures from people and, and, and content that's been created through these, these cameras. And um, it's, just, it's just astounding. I mean, I don't imagine any of my pictures will ever make it onto the walls. Maybe I'll just like put one up and just wait for someone to take it down. But no, it's just, it's inspiring. It's inspiring. At the end of the day, I love making videos, I love taking pictures and I'm so fortunate that I get to do it for my job and you know I'm even more lucky that I get to collaborate and work with such a great company like Nikon. Cool? <laughs> cool, right I think that's it.